Hallo und willkommen zum fünften Teil meines Let's Plays von The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow, einem Horror Point and Click Adventure von Cloak and Dagger Games, herausgegeben von Wadget Eye Games. Das Video stammt aus einer Streaming Session auf Twitch, daher nehme ich meist mehrere Folgen am Stück auf und schneide Pausen heraus. Außerdem füge ich Kapitelmarker hinzu. Diese findet ihr unten in der Beschreibung und in der Abspielleiste. Wir spielen das Spiel auf Englisch mit Untertiteln. Ich freue mich auf eure Fragen und Hinweise in den Kommentaren und wünsche gruselige Unterhaltung. Und dann widmen wir uns nochmal einer Ausgrabung, die nicht beginnen kann, denn... Wir haben den Ort noch nicht gefunden, den wir ausgraben wollen. <lacht> Und damit willkommen zurück zu der, ich glaube, sechsten, fünften oder sechsten Folge von An Excavation auf Hobbs Barrow. Ein Point and Click Adventure, das wir jetzt äh, seit ich mehreren Instanzen schon spielen. Es geht darum, dass äh, diese Damen die wir hier sehen, Thomasina Bateman, eingeladen wurde, ein bestimmtes Grab sich anzuschauen. Und seit ja, zwei Tagen sind wir auf der Suche nach A, dem Mann, der uns eingeladen hat, B, dem Grab, das er uns eingeladen hat, zu sehen, C, unseren Sachen, die wir haben mit der ähm, Bahn bringen lassen und die, weil wir nicht erreichbar waren, jetzt in einem abgeschlossenen Warenhaus stehen, und der Postmeister ist nicht äh, aufzufinden. War noch was? Ja, und C, nach einem Grund, warum die Leute hier doch alle irgendwie so ein bisschen kontraproduktiv sind, also uns nicht so richtig helfen wollen. Also es ist alles sehr, sehr... Dieser Mann ist sehr, sehr fadenscheinig. Genau. Du sagst es, Helge. Also das ist so die Herausforderung, mit der wir hier zu tun haben. Und wir haben uns tatsächlich ein bisschen vorgekämpft in der letzten Episode, indem wir jetzt einen Wald noch weiter erkundet haben, in dem Bäume gefällt werden. Da haben wir nette neue Leute kennengelernt. Also nett nicht so, aber neue Leute. Die uns darauf hingewiesen haben, dass es ein Besitzer für dieses ganze wie diese ganze Gegend gibt. Der aber offensichtlich auch sehr menschenscheu ist und uns nicht begegnet ist und auch sonst Menschen nicht so cool findet. Ich vermute, dass er uns noch irgendwann begegnen wird. Aber jetzt in dieser Instanz, an dieser Stelle, hilft uns, glaube ich, die Tatsache, dass wir ihn kennen oder seinen Namen kennen, nicht so wirklich weiter konnte uns bisher auch niemand groß etwas zu ihm erzählen. Wally took Myrtle. Pardon? He took her and ran off. I hate him. Is Myrtle one of your dolls? Yes. My favorite. Mommy made her for me. She's so beautiful. Wally is the worst brother in the whole world. Oh. Why did your brother take Myrtle away? He's just jealous because Daddy is letting me come with him to the market tomorrow. Wally thinks I'm Daddy's favorite, so he took Myrtle from me. What if he rips her to tatters? What if he feeds her to Mr. Bryden's goat? Don't worry, Jane. I'm sure he wouldn't do such a thing. Where did your brother go? I don't know. Home, maybe. But I have to wait here for Myrtle's friends to dry out. <laughs> Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick him so hard. <laughs> have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... I have, yes. You have? We aren't supposed to talk about it. Why not? Would you like to go there? Yes, I would very much like to. I'll tell you where it is if you find Myrtle for me. Mm. You will? Yes! But don't tell anyone about it or I'll be told off. I promise. Please find Myrtle first. I miss her. I will. 
Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick him so hard. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Okay. Da haben wir doch jetzt was erreicht. Ein neues To-Do. Find Jane's Ragdoll. Das ist ja mal was. So. Können wir auf die Karte gucken? Wir wissen ja, wo Wally ist. Denn wir haben ihn vorhin, also in der letzten Folge schon gesehen. Ich wusste nur, ehrlich gesagt, nicht mehr, dass er dabei war. Aber es stimmt, jetzt erinnere ich mich. Dann wollen wir mal mit Wally sprechen. Good day. Jane tells me you've taken Myrtle away. And what if I did? That's a bit mean, don't you think? She kicked me! Look at this bruise on my leg! That does look quite bad. Why did she kick you? Because she's a little goblin. You don't know what she can be like. Besides, Myrtle is gone now. I've given her to the fair folk. That'll teach her. Who are the fair folk? The little people of the moors. I gave Myrtle to them. Little people? You don't mean fairies, do you? We call them fair folk round here. Wally, there is no such thing as fairies. It's two, and I gave them a doll. Where can I find these fair folk? Follow the tinker of their tiny belts. I hear them when the wind dies. They dance around their little house. But where is this little house? Just listen for the bells, you'll find it. <sighs> Don't think about bringing that door back. That will just bring bad luck for all of us. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Vermutlich ist es nicht hier. Jetzt ist die Frage... Wo ist es denn? <clears throat> Mrs. De Plancy is a kind, God-fearing woman. Hmm. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Das habe ich befürchtet. This appears to be a recently dug, unmarked <coughs> grave. Ja. Oh. I may be a barrow digger, but I am no grave robber. <lacht> naja, aber es war doch eine gute Idee, oder? Margaret's Lookout. I wonder who Margaret is, or was. The Devil's Toe, a local landmark. Do mal damit was auch probiert haben. I don't wish to dig it up. Gut. Ja, und nach rechts geht's nur weiter zu Mr. Scholders Cottage. Da waren wir schon. Und weiter geht's da nicht. Richtig. Das heißt, was wir noch machen können, ist den Weg nach oben vom Friedhof auszulaufen. Weil hier ist ja nichts.
I better not touch them. They could be poisonous. It looks like something has been buried in the middle. Ah. the place. What happened the last time you left your dolly under the tree? A fox ate it, madame. Yes, it did. Fetch it now, won't you? Then I'll fix your supper. Yes, madame. Oh. Da haben wir offensichtlich eine Rückblende getriggert. to the fairy kingdom. Hello. There you are, Josephine. I won't let the foxes eat you. Who's that you have there, little bird? Josephine. She introduced me to the fairies. Oh, fairies, you say? Yes, Daddy. Do you believe in fairies? Of course. Do you see those mushrooms over there? Yes. That's the gateway to their kingdom. That's where Josephine and I go to talk to the fairies. Now, listen to me, Thomasina. Yes? You're old enough now to hear this. There's no such thing as fairies or talking dolls, my little bird. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear child. I do not wish to upset you. I just want to make sure that you understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Josephine is just a doll, and fairies do not exist. But, Daddy... Science is the great antidote to the poison of enthusiasm and superstition. Please always remember that. If you hear anything about fairies or the like again, know that it's hogwash. What is it? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Hogwash. Did Wally bury the doll, I wonder? Ooh. This must be Jane's rag doll. Hmm. You're coming with me, little fellow. I shall name you Kenneth. Perhaps these wriggling worms are the fair folk young Wally was so fearful of. Oh. Yeah, That's strange. Know. There is a hairpin pierced through the arm. This may come in handy. I'll keep it. Ooh. At least I, I shall guess. not return from Beaulieu empty handed. Ich habe das Gefühl, wir haben hier zwei Probleme mit einem Streich gelöst. Okay, wir können sogar noch weitergehen. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. Gut. Dann machen wir das nicht. I present to you, Myrtle. Myrtle! I missed you so much! Now, I believe we had a deal. Hide and seek! Come back! It's in moments like these I thank myself for not having children. <laughs>
The trowel is too blunt to chip away at the rock. They aren't mine to take. Dann machen wir das auch besser nicht. Hey! Jane? Jane, get out of there. Don't make me come in. Fine. Curses. The hole is too small for me to fit through. <laughs> I was always happiest with a trowel in my hand. Uncovering hidden worlds within the earth itself, clod by clod. That should do it. <laughs> Jane! Jane? Jane? Jane, come out this instant. I can't see a damned thing in here. I need a light source. Okay, ich glaube, dann müssen wir unsere Laterne holen. Oder nicht? Und das können wir möglicherweise jetzt, weil wir einen. Eine Haarklammer haben. Und wie wir ja gelernt haben, in vielen Jahren, Jahrzehnten gar, Film und Buch. Geschichten. Kenneth taught me this useful trick. A hairpin is much more than a hair accessory. A few wiggles and this lock should spring right open. I've snapped the hairpin in the process, but I managed to unlock the door. Guck an. Let's open this envelope. There's a note inside. <coughs> Miss Bateman, I beg for your forgiveness. A matter of grave urgency has arisen in London and I cannot join you in Bewley. I've packed your usual equipment and I pray and pray you will find local assistance in my absence. I look forward to seeing you upon your return. Yours faithfully, Kenneth Murdoch. How very frustrating. I wonder what happened. I'd better get this to the alley before Mr. Long comes back. Moving a fully laden crate through the village square was no easy task. Somehow, no one was there to witness it. But I didn't give up, because I never give up, do I, Mother? I am as stubborn as my father, as you liked to remind me. Ja, hier ist immer latent eine problematische Familiengeschichte irgendwie mit drin. Man weiß nicht warum. Wait. Where is my money? It's not in here. Kenneth, you absolute liability of a man. It looks like everything else is in here. Picks. Specimen trays, shovels. Oh, my chisel, I'll take that. Ah, oh, my lantern. It feels light. There mustn't be any oil inside. I'll leave the rest in the crate. Stanley assured me things would be safe here. No money and no assistant. This is most inconvenient. Still, I've been in worse situations. I've got a tab at the inn for now. I'll worry about money later. I must find that barrow and get on with the excavation. Yeah. I need paraffin to fuel my lantern. 
Hm. I'd rather not go into those horrible oh, toilets yeah. again. Ich wollte nur eine Abkürzung nehmen, aber offensichtlich sind wir hier nicht vorbereitet auf Abkürzung. It's Mr. Stanley. He has. Can I please have a new candle for my room? I'll go upstairs and replace it this evening. Can I have one now? It's not dark yet, Miss Bateman. I never mind. Goodbye. See you soon. <laughs> Das wäre ja auch zu einfach gewesen. Hm. No, no, that won't work. Okay. The candle has melted. It's not much use anymore. The lantern has an ignition switch. It oh. doesn't need lighting with a match. Ist ja auch schön. I need paraffin to fuel my lantern. Hm. Hm, hm. Day. Yes. I was wondering if you might be able to spare some lantern oil. I don't have much to spare, lass. Paraffin is as rare as hen's teeth in these parts. How much coin do you have? None, I'm afraid. If you're in a bind, I can trade you a small amount. A trade, you say? Aye. What can I trade you for some lantern oil? Surprise me. <laughs> What can I trade? Surprise me. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. Das suggeriert mir, dass ich noch nichts habe, was ich angeben könnte. Hmm. I don't think Mr. Crozier would be interested in trading his paraffin for this. Oh. 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 Es fügt sich alles zusammen, möchte ich mal sagen. Blended. I've managed to extract it in one piece. Toll, wir haben ein Fossil. Would you trade some of your paraffin for this fossilized ammonite, Mr. Crozier? Now then, it is a beauty that. It looks familiar. I'll take it off your hands. Wonderful. Let me fetch some paraffin from inside. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Gut. Dann haben wir jetzt Licht. Ach so, noch nicht. Noch nicht, weil wir müssen das Paraffin wahrscheinlich noch in die Lampe tun. Das ist sehr gut.
Es geht voran. Es geht voran. Wir kriegen das hin. Ja, ja, ja. Right. Let's put this lantern to good use. <laughs> Jane, come out at once. Jane! Silly, what are you doing in that smelly old badger's hole? You were in there. No, I weren't. Yes, you were. Not true. I was hiding behind that tree over there. I got bored of waiting for you. So where can I find Hobbs Barrow? Go north from the church graveyard, up the hill. You'll see some muddy fields on the horizon. That's Mr. Bryden's farm. Hobbs Barrow is there. Don't tell any grown-ups I told you. And thanks for getting Myrtle back. My pleasure. Thank you, Jane. You've been a great help. Na ja. So great nur auch wieder nicht. Dafür, dass wir hier erst irgendwo ein Loch bauen müssen und dann eine Lampe brauchen und dann ein armes Tier auch noch in seinem Winterschlaf stören, hätte man auch ohne Gut, dann haben wir jetzt eine Wegbeschreibung und dann gehen wir wohl mal dahin. Ist ja nicht so, als ob wir etwas Besseres zu tun hätten. This is where I dug up Jane's Ragdoll. I've already taken one. Ah, oh, okay. Mehrere Würmer darf man nicht, oder? As I trudged through the barren moors, with only the odd sheep for company, I reflected upon my visit to Bewley thus far. The enigmatic Mr. Shoulder and his puzzling disappearance. The townsfolk of Bewley, who had made it as difficult as they could for me to find Hobbs Barrow. The suspicion, the wariness in their eyes. Ja, man kann nicht den Eindruck gewinnen, dass diese großen Bock hätten auf euch. Only now I know it was actually fear. In the end, it was the innocence of a child, young Jane, that condemned me to my fate. This is not mine to take. The empty bucket smells of rancid milk. What a wild looking thing! <laughs> Easy girl. I'm not fond of goats at the best of times, but this one seems particularly disagreeable. Ja. Wollen wir doch mal freundlich klopfen, ne? Ist ja nicht so, als ob nicht alle anderen Leute uns auf uns keinen Bock hatten. What do you want? My name is Thomasina Bateman. Mr. Bryden, I presume. Hi. What do you want, lass? That's quite an intimidating goat you own. <laughs> the old girl does a better job of protecting this farm than any hound would. <laughs> she still produces a lot of milk for us, so we forgive her temper. What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? He keeps us going. Most of our crops go to feed his animals. What is he like? 
Oh, I've hardly laid eyes on him. He sends his workers here to pick up the crops. I see. I understand Hobbs Barrow is located on your land. Oh, well, yes. Why do you ask? I am an antiquarian, Mr. Bryden. I'm writing a volume on the Barrows of England. Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting to dig about it. If at all possible, Mr. Bryden. I was invited to Bewley by Mr. Leonard Shoulder, who told me such an excavation would be possible. Leonard Shoulder? <laughs> I haven't seen him in years. The last I heard he were on death's door. There's to be no more digging there, lass. Not since it went so badly last time. Was there a previous excavation of Hobbs Barrow? Aye. My brother dug it up. Must have been, what, 25 years ago? You see, whatever he found inside, well, it drove him mad. Oh? Aye. I moved back here to look after him. Poor bastard hanged himself not long after. I... I'm sorry, Mr. Bryden. That's terrible. Aye. Time passes, but it were an awful thing. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Bryden. I live here with my wife. I might be long in tooth, but I can still run this farm without too much help. What did your brother find? Samuel. Samuel were his name. Sorry, what did Samuel find in the barrow? I don't know, but something went wrong. Afterward, he could barely speak. You couldn't make out a word like... That must have been hard. He lost a hand in that excavation too, you know. Goodness me, how? I try hard not to speculate on what might have happened, lass. I'd see him disappear into that barrow, dragging timber in with him. You'd hear him hammering away for hours. I offered him help, but he'd have none of it. Soon enough, he'd block the entrance off. To look at it now, you'd never know the thing we dug up. The landers reclaimed it. Who else was involved in the excavation? Two others, I believe. Outsiders, perhaps. I can't say for sure. I think they left town pretty swiftly afterwards. I lived in Bakewell at the time. I only moved back here to look after Samuel. I took over the farm when he passed away. I see. What can you tell me about your farm? Samuel's fair to side. We're a fortunate family. The soil is fertile here. Crops grow without too much trouble. All the other farmers around here raise livestock, even Lord Panswick. We grow up feed for them. Most fortunate, Mr. Bryden. Is your wife home? She's out in fields, lass, pulling weeds. The curse of such fertile soil. <laughs> Forty years we've been married. I couldn't do it without her, you see. How splendid. Aye, my wife is a fine woman. Are you married, lass? No, no. I've had my fair share of proposals, Mr. Bryden, but that's not the life for me. Marriage is an important institution. You'll find a man one day. Hmm. I manage rather well without one, Mr. Bryden. You haven't seen Mr. Shoulder for some time? I hear about him now and then, but it must be a good few years since I set eyes on him. He hasn't been here to visit Hobbs Barrow? Not to my knowledge. I heard he's beset by ailments. Don't leave his home often. Hmm. How odd. I assumed he'd spoken to you about my visit. Not at all. Hmm. You say Mr. Shoulder is at death's door. What exactly ails him? I'm unsure. It's just what I've heard. I wouldn't want to speculate on matters that are not my business. Mr. Bryden, may I please have your permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow? No. Have you not been listening, lass? Samuel found something in there that's best left to rot. No digging here, lass. Wouldn't you like to find out more about what Samuel found in there? Perhaps. But Samuel boarded up that barrow for a reason. You don't want to tempt the same fate, lass. Perhaps I can at least see Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. I suppose you've come a long way to be here, lass. All the way from London, Mr. Bryden. Hmm. Have you any proof of all you've told me? You wish to see proof of what, Mr. Bryden? I can't let any Tom, Dick or Harry wander around me fields. What proof have you of your claims? You wish to see proof- I can't let any- What proof of- Thanks for your time. Ta-ra now. Ich kann ihm die Briefe zeigen. Here is proof that Mr. Shoulder invited me to Bewley in order to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Leonard making bold promises, I see. 
Don't make me regret this. But yes, you can have a look at it. Thank you. Any road. Once you've set your eyes on it, you won't be wanting out do with it. The place gives one a queer feeling. So where can I find it? Through that gate to your left. Just head straight across the top to the field there. After ten minutes or so, you'll see Barra, set on a hill ahead. Thank you again, Mr. Bryden. I really do appreciate it. I probably should have brought my umbrella. Hmm. Perhaps I could take a closer look. A-R. I haven't a clue what that could be referring to. Someone has carved the letters A-R into the stone. Finally, here it is. Hobbs Barrow. You who? Indeed, a barrow of a most unusual rectangular form. I've not seen something like this since West Kennet Long Barrow. Yes, this shall make a fine entry for my book. What secrets do you conceal, I wonder? That smell, earthy and sweet. Three, two, one. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina. Come. Are you ready for your first excavation? Yes, Daddy. Capital. Make sure you remember everything I've taught you. I have a feeling you might find something special. How exciting! I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck! Thank you, Daddy. Now I'm ready. Thomasina, a true archaeologist, uses the tools of her trade. Nothing here. Fifty percent chance. <coughs> Treasures here. Dann guck doch nicht für. Treasure. Daddy, I found the treasure. Look! Well done, little bird. Your first successful excavation. That urn you're holding is very old and precious. Take good care of it, all right? I will, Daddy. I promise. Und die Uhr informiert uns, dass wir es tatsächlich dann nach, ich glaube, sechs Folgen <lacht> doch mal geschafft haben, zumindest Hobbs Barrow zu finden. Auch wenn wir jetzt offensichtlich nicht die Erlaubnis bekommen, es auch auszugraben. 
Aber mal gucken, vielleicht ändert sich das ja auch noch. Wir würden an dieser Stelle aber erstmal wieder ein Päuschen einlegen, beziehungsweise diese Folge beenden. Ähm, genau, und deswegen ähm, haben wir ja doch einiges geschafft in dieser letzten Folge. Mal schauen, was beim nächsten Mal passiert. Bis dahin, wir sehen uns. Herzlichen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Lasst gern eure Meinung zum Video in den Kommentaren da oder klickt die entsprechenden Buttons. Meine ganzen Let's Plays gibt es auch als Playlisten auf YouTube oder Peertube, wo ihr mir gerne folgen könnt. Die Links gibt es unten in der Beschreibung. Bis denn dann!